Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some advanced analytics in Excel and different types of analysis that we perform in Excel. In my previous videos, I had talked about analysis of numerical variables and different types of numerical variables and also we saw the analysis of categorical variables and what are the different types of categorical variables. And But before we dive right into it, not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics across Excel and Python. So first I created one Excel sheet here. In this Excel sheet basically I just converted some of the numerical variables into categorical variables. So it will seem seamless when we do our analysis. So we saw some, some you know, variables for example the cylinder column and the carburetor and gear column. Though they seem, uh, uh, seem to appear as numbers they are not really numerical variables because you can see there are only three categories here. So they, the data can be grouped by the, uh, by the number of cylinders a car has or the number of gears you can see here there are three types of gears cars with three types of gears or carburetors so these are actually categorical variables so i have written nested if statements and converted these cylinder column and the gear column into into categorical variables i have also made a video on how you can do them seamlessly without having to write a single line of code using power query if you haven't seen that i'll leave a link in the description you can take a look at that as well it's super easy to, to, to do your transformations in power queries so let's get right into it. So now when we do data analytics in Excel, there are three main concepts we need to remember. The three types, main types of data analytics we do for our data in our exploratory analysis phase are univariate analysis, where we study one variable and its characteristic. So how we saw the characteristics of the miles per gallon, which is one variable in a descriptive format, and how we saw the characteristics of the categorical variable also in a descriptive format that is termed as univariate analysis okay now we will do this visually because in visually uh, when we represent the data is more easy to understand the different types of analysis so now after univariate analysis we will take a look at bivariate analysis which basically means where you st study two or uh, two variables with each other so you may study one categorical variable and one numerical variable or two numerical variables together or one a uh, categorical variable with another categorical variable that is termed as bivariate analysis and lastly we know uh, we do something called as multivariate analysis where you can study two or more categorical variables with each other or you can study one categorical variable with two numerical variables or two categorical variables with one or one or more numerical variables or two or more numerical variables with each other so i will do an example of each and then I will leave it up to you to try all the other different combinations on your own and leave a comment on what other different combinations and analysis you have done on the same. So let's dive right into it without, without further ado. So first I'm going to create a pivot table. It's super easy to do with a pivot table. So I'll create a, a pivot table, insert pivot table. And now we'll take a look at univariate analysis. I'm going to put it in the other sheet. Okay. Let's drag this to the end and let's rename this as analysis yes. okay now let's take a look at univariate so for univariate let's say i want to study the characteristics of the cylinder categorical variable so i'll just drag it into the rows column and i'll drag the cylinders into the values column and here you can see it has given my univariate analysis i'll create a, a pivot chart to visualize this data pivot charts are super useful for this kind of analytics so i'll create a column chart and you can see it has told me at a single side that i have more number of eight cylinder cars and six cylinder cars are the least so now let's take a look at univariate analysis for a numerical variable okay so i'll copy this and just make another pivot table okay and now we'll take a look at the numerical analysis okay so let us see which numerical variable we'll take so let us take the miles per gallon so let us take that in the rows okay and since it is a numerical variable you can see all the numerical values are repeated all the distinct values okay so i'll take this car name in the column and here what i will do is i'll just group it okay so that because since these are numerical variables i'll get a better sense when i group it and i can create a histogram out of it so i'll create a group okay and uh, let us take it by say five you can experiment with different groups this is nothing but your bin width okay and now 
you can see this is given a nice bins for me in Instagram and I can go and create an again a pivot chart and this will give me a nice histogram out of it so I, I'll click this okay yes and we can give it a nice look of a histogram just double click here and uh, okay yes the options section okay so give the gap with a zero it will give a nice look of an histogram and hit enter and you can see this gives you a nice look of a of a histogram here you can see at the first glance is that the the most cars uh, the most number of cars that are, are are giving miles per gallon in the range of 15.4 to 20.4 so this is the uh, the miles per gallon given by most cars and you can see this has a has a, a left tail with a peak towards the end okay so this gives you your univariate analysis for the uh, for the numerical variable now let's take a look at let us say bivariate analysis we discussed that there are this is the analysis between two variables okay so let us let, let us take two categorical variables here okay say i want to analyze cylinder versus the uh, gears so and see what are the um, kinds of insight i get from my data okay so so let us see the cylinders versus gears and i will just uh, drag the gears into the rows column and the and the cylinders in so i'll okay i'll i'll do the reverse i'll drag the yeah cylinders in the row column and the gears in the uh, in the column section and let us drag the cars here okay and now again let us go and insert another pivot chart and click on okay and you can see okay let me select a, a different chart it will give me a better insight this chart also will do but i prefer using a clustered column chart you can see, i'll show you why so sorry i'll click on insert and click on pivot chart and click here pivot chart and let me take this stat column So this gives me a good, because you see the this was the first univariate analysis where we saw eight cylinder cars, four cylinder cars, and six cylinder cars, and here we have done bivariate analysis, and you can see we have the same shape for eight cylinder cars, four cylinder cars, and six six cylinder cars, but we have also added another dimension. So this is also called two dimension an analysis where we have seen the eight cylinder cars have most of the eight cylinder cars are. Are having three gears and very few eight cylinder cars are having five gears and similarly four cylinder cars are one of them are having you know four gears so this is shows you the analysis of of two variables with each other so and this is called bivariate analysis for categorical variables now let us take a look at bivariate analysis for numerical variables okay and uh, so let us take a look at that okay for that i'm going to go to the data modif so I'll, let me first insert a blank chart here insert uh, insert a blank scatter chart okay and let us take a look at that so i'm going to uh, let us click on the chart and select data okay click on add okay so let me go to the here the data and let me select the the miles per gallon here and le let me select the displacement both are numerical variables okay should hit on okay and you can see this is the bivariate analysis of two numerical variables so the miles per gallon keeps on decreasing uh, the miles per gallon keeps on increasing rather as the displacement decreases so for the cars having lower displacement the miles per gallon is more and for cars having higher displacement the miles per gallon is is less so we can see like a there's a clear linear relationship here now let's take a look at multivariate analysis okay so we have seen this uh, uh, you know kind of analysis here where we have where we have analyzed two categorical variables let us try adding one more dimension so this is called multivariate analysis let me again hit on show field list and let us add one more dimension to this so let's see if we say we have cylinders gears let us add uh, what is the other categorical you know, variable we can do okay so let us say you know carburetor 
okay that is another so we can now add a pivot chart and you see how beautifully it has added multiple multiple dimensions so three dimensions so i'll hit on pivot chart i'll select uh, cluster cause uh, sorry i'll select stack column okay and now you can see this is given me three dimension analysis so this is called multi variable analysis for categorical variables so we can see eight cylinder cars four cylinder uh, cars and six cylinder cars within that we have uh, sliced the data between uh, the two carburetors three carburetors four and eight for eight cylinder four cylinder and three cylinder cars and then what are the gears of uh, each car you know three gear four gear you know four gears and five gear car so this is give you three dimension an analysis of the data now let us take a look at another interesting multi bit analysis where i want to analyze a, a three numerical variables with each other okay so uh, let me uh, take this only data again okay here okay so if i want to let me add a chart again here and we'll see now so we did it uh, we, we did this for uh, for two numerical variables let us try for three numerical variables and see how we can do that it's not possible you know directly but i'll show you a neat trick so i'll insert a blank chart okay i'll click on select data again i click on add okay let us go and select again miles per gallon as the x let us select the displacement okay and click on okay and now i'm going to add we see we, uh, we got a chart at the similar one let me add one more dimension so i'm going to add another series okay again i'll select miles per gallon and i'll select horsepower this time sorry let me select uh, let me do this again i'll select miles per gallon as the x and again let me select horsepower here okay horsepower and hit okay and you can see this is given me multi bit analysis of three numerical variables however a uh, important point to note here is that because these values of displacement and horsepower are relatively in the same range so you cannot spot the difference here but this is not the actual representation because had the horsepower and displacement been drastically different say horsepower was in the range of thousands and displacement in the range of uh, of hundreds you couldn't display this data on a single axis so i'll show you a, a neat trick for this click on the chart go to chart design and we can say change a uh, chart type okay and we'll click on combo so the first series you want to add it as a scatter plot okay uncheck this and the second series we just added add it again as a scatter plot and just click on the secondary axis here so click on okay and now you can see beautifully you have you have got two axes so even if both the series have have different ranges right as i mentioned here the range is 0 to 400 0 to 400 but if it was one in thousands and others in tens still you would get the relationship and your your x axis you know remain common so this is called multi bit analysis for numerical variables now i know i already covered you know bi bit analysis but let me show you show you a neat bi bit analysis of a a categorical variable and a numerical variable so let me copy the same thing so say we had this histogram here and now i want to add a categorical variable dimension to this say so i am just going to add cylinders here and i'm going to insert pivot chart and hit hit the chart okay let me click on okay and let me do the same thing as i did again let me open and make the one sec yeah i make make the gap with a zero okay and so you can see i've got a histogram of the shape that is here only the same histogram but at now it is segmented versus the different type of cylinders so i at this range i can see that the cars giving low mileage they have eight cylinders so eight so at one shot i can see eight cylinder cars are giving low mileage and cars giving higher mileage they having four cylinders so this is the kind of analysis that you can do with your uh, data and i would urge you to try the different other combinations of of univariate multivariate and bivariate analysis and leave a comment on what different co combinations and what insight you have got from the from the data i would love to hear from you if you like the video not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics across python and excel thank you